Hello, hello, Amira Alvarez here, founder and CEO of The Unstoppable Woman. Okay, I wanna to talk to you about the law of cause and effect. I'm gonna give you just a little bit on this today. This is something that I was talking to the women, the beautiful women who have joined the Spirit of Wealth Mastermind and Masterclass. This is something we went into in a lot of detail uh, today. And it's important because when you are looking at the coming year, 2019, you probably have some big goals and visions, whether you're in business for yourself or uh, working in corporate or you're a consultant or um, some other role in your world, you have hopefully some uh, clear ideas about what you want, what you want to achieve. Those are the effects that you want. And if you want to achieve them, you have to put the right causes into effect. But here's the thing, you are always putting causes into effect, whether you are conscious of it or unconscious of it. And sometimes when you are ready to grow, something comes back at you and it's not so pleasant. So let me take a step back here and explain what I'm talking about. So you are always first cause, which means that you are always putting causes into effect. Again, whether you're conscious of it or unconscious of it. And those causes come back to you. You're, you are the originator of them and they come back to you as effects, results, circumstances, your environment, um, experiences. And so when you receive something, that is unpleasant to you, that causes you discomfort or uh, unhappiness, anything that throws you out of heaven, that is an effect of a cause that you previously put into um, motion. So sometimes you get immediate results. Sometimes there's a lengthy reply process that you, you, that's, that's always a little bit of an unknown there. But when the cause comes back to you and you don't like it, you have a choice. You can either be a victim of that experience, that effect, and stay at the same level. Or you can choose a different response and put a different cause into motion that allows you to grow, that takes you to the next level, that moves you towards what you truly want. So let's say something comes back at you. I just recently had this experience, so I'm quite familiar with it. And I walk my talk, so I apply these laws all the time. It's not a one and done thing. You don't like learn them and suddenly you don't have to apply them consciously anymore. You absolutely have to keep using them over and over again. So I had something come into my life and it threw me for a loop. It really did. And consciously, I could talk myself out of it, all of that stuff. But I was pretty much thrown for a loop. And I had to really look at what I wanted. Again, what are my goals? Okay. And this was not seemingly on the surface aligned with my goals. So I had to pause and ask myself, okay, how do I, how do I use this as a tool as something that will propel me to the next level. And so I had to look at what I wanted in my life and put a new cause into effect, which meant taking what came back to me and transforming it into a uh, something that allowed me to grow, like in seeing it as exactly what needed to happen right now for me to get to the next level. And this is so important. Most people think that the things coming back to them um, are that they're a victim of it. You have a circumstance that you don't like. Maybe you didn't meet your, your financial numbers this um, month or this year if you're in business. Or maybe something happened uh, in a relationship or with your family or with your weight or um, what would be another example? Something didn't go great in your business. Your team uh, didn't perform the way you wanted them to. So you get a result, and if you stay in resistance to it, if you stay in victim to it, then you, you will continue to send out the same cause that caused that result to come back to you. But if you would like a different 
outcome, you have to learn how to let that, let's see if I can do this on camera, let that be like an Aikido move where you just let the, the effect that's coming back to you move past you. And how do you do that? You have to become more. You have to grow to a different level. You have to react differently so that it doesn't land with you. So it's not matching that cause, vibrating at the same level as that cause. Does that make sense? I hope so. So how do you do that? So let's say you get a result you don't like and you um, realize that what result you want is, let's see, what would be an example of this? More sales, okay? And you realize that in order to have more sales, you have to do more outreach. And in order to do more outreach, you have to become someone who is willing to be visible or willing to make sales calls or willing to um, have conversations at networking events with people, all sorts of things, right? And so when you get this negative response, instead of being a victim of it, you use this as a call to action to become more and be more and do more and then have more. So I hope that makes sense to you. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And if you're interested in the Spirit of Wealth Mastermind and Masterclass, uh, it is a small, beautiful boutique program, an intimate program for really rock star entrepreneurs. So if you'd like to learn more about that, reach out to me. You know how. Okay, have an awesome day. Be unstoppable. Bye.